Now, the number of older people with care needs is expected to rise by more than 60 per cent in the next 20 years. And the home care sector is continuing to expand, often through franchising to meet this demand. Bluebird Care's franchisees attribute their success to having a proven business model and a committed team of brand advocates operating at the heart of local communities. Robin Ross visited teams across the country to see how the firm has shared its high standards of care and business practice with franchisees. Loretta is 86 years old. As a former social care inspector, she has a sharp mind, but a nasty car accident left her in need of physical help. Haley is a care assistant, helping with daily chores and medication. I don't see many people, um, especially now I can't drive, I can't see, I don't see, and it's nice to have somebody to talk to. I've got a great team that, you know, work in the background behind me, um, you know, and if I ever need any help, you know, they're only a phone call away. Loretta relies on Bluebird Care to help her live a more independent life. Bluebird Care is an award-winning franchise of 200 businesses carrying out 20,000 home visits every day, mainly in the private sector. Brother-in-laws Mayhul and Tushar run the franchise in Loretta's area. They're rated outstanding. Running a franchise is really like running a business, but the advantage that you have is you're part of a network where you have a wide range of expertise, best practice, uh, and a support network, which you wouldn't have when you're running a business by yourself. You are a customer living with dementia. The care industry is notorious for a high turnover of staff. Not seeing the same face is one of the biggest complaints. So Bluebird Care helps to keep staff happy with continual training and mentoring programmes. So they were listening, actively listening. Mayhul and Tusha pay above the living wage and offer a 12-week training programme. Prior to introducing a 12-week programme, for every two carers we used to recruit, one would probably leave within three months. Since introducing that, for every four carers we recruit, probably one leaves. Georgie Holbert is 19 years old. She's studying for an NVQ Level 2 in Health and Social Services and uses an e-learning programme. Do you see yourself having a long career here? A hundred percent. You know, I would not go anywhere else, any different company, I would stay here. And I want to be a supervisor, I want to get my grades, get everything, be a care champion. Innovation and technology is seen as key. There's an app that updates care plans in real time, showing care notes and medication records which are transmitted back to the office. The dashboard allows remote supervision. In the heart of London are two more outstanding rated franchises, run by George and Peter. Before you even open the office, you're booked in for five days training. We're assigned a quality assurance manager and a business development manager that work with you to help you find your first office, to find your first customers, to get the setup of the office from a technical point of view, and to, to, to make sure that on day one you're, you've got a running start. I like the ethos and the model of Bluebird Care uh, about putting, it's about putting the people who use service at the very centre. If you can get that right, then the business will grow and it'll be very successful. Bluebird Care is above the national average as compliant with CQC standards. The care industry is highly regulated and so there are risks. The care in the home industry is growing, but it's not just about caring for people in their homes. It's about getting out and about. Those cared for range from 18 years old to 100 years old and social events are a lifeline. I just like being part of helping people. You know, I think that's why carers are in this role, aren't they? You care for people. Loretta is having a cup of coffee before heading to the supermarket with Hayley. My life has improved immensely. 